I'm Matt with Drake Mechanical. I am a journeyman plumber for Drake Mechanical, and we're here to talk a little bit about this electric water heater here. A few things you want to look for. Do we A, have a ball valve up here to shut it off on the cold side? That's the main thing. We want to make sure our flexies are in good shape and they're not touching. We like to see the copper ones. Obviously, they are a better, more superior product. This is electric, as we spoke about, so it has 240 coming in. If you ever have to work on this, we do recommend that you turn the power off. Some of the main points we like to look for, is there any signs of corrosion on top of this? That's the main thing. Is there corrosion on, on these that are called heat trap nipples? Is there any corrosion on those? Is it gonna leak? We like to visually look at everything and make sure, is there any leak turning down? This one looks pretty good, obviously. This is the temperature and pressure. This is a safety device that has to be piped in and installed. This obviously is done properly and it does go outside for us. Next thing I want to talk about is down here. We always recommend a Drake. Once a year, we flush these guys out. What that does is you hook a hose up there and it blows the sediment out of it. You leave the valve on up there. You come down here and hook up a hose to it and put it out to an outside. Open this little valve. And I like to let them run for about 10 to 15 minutes just to blow, blow all the sediment out, get everything out of there really nice. It prolongs the life of the water heater immensely. Also, one other thing I'd like to recommend is to put a water softener on your system. That helps immensely. It takes all the hard water before it gets into this. It softens the water before it goes into our heaters. There's an upper element, or excuse me, a lower element and an upper element. What happens is all the sediment gets in here and it attaches to that element it makes it really hard to heat the water. So then you're heating sediment on top of everything else. That's why we like to flush those guys. We do a $99 preventative maintenance, which includes this. So I hope that was educational and you have a great day.